What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Second Accord. And I just wanted to do a quick video, letting you guys know that I am back on ALKP. I downloaded the leaked version of the official Sprint update from uh, QBKing77 uh, from his channel. And the update was great. I loved it. Everything about it was pretty cool. Like, I didn't have any issues or any bugs. There was one visual bug when you did the multitasking. You would kind of see the bottom. It, it's hard to explain. But besides that, no issues. Messaging worked. Um, phone calls are great. Wi-Fi was, you know, spot, you know, Wi-Fi connected whenever. So I didn't have any issues at all. My phone didn't freeze up. None of that. But I did do a factory reset, which I almost always do a factory reset. I reset my phone even if I don't do anything about once every three months just to clean up apps, get rid of a whole bunch of stuff, it'll clean up things. Um, if you do factor resets on a daily basis, I don't make backups either. I let it go completely from stock. But I do use Google services, so everything that I do on my phone is synced. So my pictures are all synced through Picasa using Google+. Plus. So all, all, all of my videos, all of my pictures are in a, on a web album. All of my contacts are saved in Gmail. Um, my all, most of my music is through Google, is uh, uploaded through Google Music. So if my computer would fail, I still have all my music. All I have to do is sign in to any internet device on my phone, and I have access to all of my music. So if you don't use Google services, get on it right now. But anyway, so I'll let you guys know that I am back on AOKP, and I'm running a dark theme. It's called Dark Eyes. And I do want to show you guys. Um, I want to quickly run through some apps on the Dark Eyes and it's, it's awesome. Um, if you have an AMOLED screen, Epic 4G Tech does have an AMOLED screen. Most Samsung phones do. Um, if you can run a theme, run a theme and use inverted apps. Because when a AMOLED screen display is black it doesn't use power each pixel has its own power source kinda just trying to explain it the quickest way possible um, and when it displays black it turns itself off so that part of the screen is not using power when it's displaying black so all of my apps now are as black as possible and I can say that my screen power and my battery stats has gone way down I just on a normal basis, my screen would use 70% of my, my battery power because I use my phone a lot. But now my screen is using about 30 to 40% of the power. So it's a big jump. But I'll show you a couple of quick, quick things. I'm using a dark wall, wallpaper as well. But um, I'm going to show you on the notification bar. It's, com it's completely black. And everything now is themed gray and black so dialer is black and black and gray now contacts while the whole contact app isn't themed the top bar is black so that's pretty cool as, as well messaging is almost almost the same as you see the top of it is black um, if you run the stock ice cream sandwich browser, you have the option to invert the browser. So I have the browser inverted. But I also have Google uh, Chrome uh, not inverted, just so when I want to actually watch videos or watch websites that have a whole bunch of pictures, then they won't disturb the pictures. But see, dark. All this says battery. Browser is what kills batteries because it displays white most of the time. So, see that? Also, I have an inverted uh, YouTube. This is not part of the app, but uh, it, it is a download that you can get on XDA. So, YouTube is now totally inverted. It's really cool. All the blue, uh, the blue YouTube is black now. As uh, you click on the video, you see. The video plays normal, but all the stuff in the bottom is inverted. So, 
also I do have an inverted Google Plus so all the white and grays are now black but the, all the pictures are disp displayed perfectly it's a really cool way to view also the I don't know if I showed you the keyboard but the keyboard is inverted as well keyboard totally inverted and all the menus are now inverted so if I go to menu menus are black when it has a uh, gray text most of the icons are also themed not all of them but 95% of my apps are themed also um, if you really want to get in, in, into this you can download uh, that same developer has a inverted version of the stock Facebook and the stock Twitter app but um, if you like me I don't like the stock Facebook app at, at, at all but I do use Friendcaster if you use Friendcaster you can in, uh, you can run themes on Friendcaster so as you see my uh, everything is black on, on, on here black and gray and Friendcaster is great because Friendcaster it makes it easier to find friends and direct message and also your notifications are instant if someone sends you a notification it'll pop up on an overlay over your screen unlike the Facebook app which notifications never show up so it'll let you know for birthdays or mentions or direct messages and you can set which notifications come through so Friendcaster is a definitely is, is, is a good app and I also use a Twitter app I don't use a stock Twitter app either I use a app called Uber Social I'll show you that Uber Social is great it's also running a theme it looks like the stock app it has a very ice cream sandwich feel so it's a beautiful app um, but you, see, you can run themes on it you can run inverted uh, this is also very similar to Friendcaster where you can fi uh, um, find people really easily you can direct message people very easily notifications pop up on an overlay of your screen it's, it's great also you can set um, your close friends into like a little circle that and you can just hit that and just like have groups kind of like groups in your Twitter feed on uber social so that's great but that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys um, oh yeah I will show you the camera camera is themed as well so instead of the blue and the gray it's the, bl the board on it but it's completely it's completely pitch black and gray so the this entire phone is now themed with dark so that's really really cool but that's all I want to show you guys if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs thumbs up if you have any questions about how I did the themes um, anything like like that you can go ahead and leave a questions or comments down in the comment section I do respond to pretty much all comments um, if you like this video please give, give me a thumbs up um, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Second Accord, and I do post links to all my videos from Twitter and other things that I comment on and I like. So I also respond to questions on Twitter too. If you have any questions about flashing ROMs or anything like that, let me know. I'm not an expert, but I do like like to help out. Go ahead and check out my channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Second Accord. I'm out.